welcome to another episode here on the Events Calendar channel. My name is Kudzai and today we're happy to have once again, Leah, who is our one of our product owners for our calendar product. Leah, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm really excited about this upcoming release. Me too. I am so excited and I'm hoping we can get our customers and our users excited about this as well. Um, so as you can see today, we're talking about uh, the upcoming 6.0, what we're calling internally 6.0, which is Events Calendar 6.0. Uh, this is the biggest release in the history of our plugin. And we have Leah here to tell us all about it. So Leah, can you give us a brief background about this new release and why it's so important? I can. Yeah, so this version 6.0 is, I can say quite literally, is the result of years of effort, planning, strategy, development. Um, it's something that has been in the works for a very long time. Um, and it is, it's not just about new features. We have new features, but it's, mm -hmm. it is an entirely new way of handling event data. This is all kind of under the hood. So what that means is that um, this, this new way of data handling allows us to serve up events a lot faster. So that means your calendar will load faster on the front end. It also means that when you're creating and editing events, they will save and update faster. This is particularly a big deal for recurring events. Previously, when you saved a recurring event, if you had a lot of occurrences, you'd get a progress bar and it would maybe take a minute for the updates to go through for all of those. But now it's practically instantaneous. Um, and this is all thanks to our new data storage system, which uses custom tables. Uh, and it's a lot more efficient. That, that improved performance is going to be part of the events calendar, the core product. So all of our users are going to benefit from that. For our uh, pro users, we also have some other really exciting features. Um, the, the, maybe the biggest one is the new series post type. Uh, the, what's great about series, it's a new way of grouping and displaying events. And uh, it allows you to take a recurring event or single events, whatever you want really, mm -hmm. and edit one occurrence or a couple occurrences without disassociating them from each other. Because with recurring events, one of the things, I mean, probably 10 years ago or more when we launched Events Calendar Pro and we first had recurring events, immediately people wanted to be able to edit one or two of the occurrences, maybe change the venue, change the title, something like that. But then that would pull it out of the recurring event because they are by default duplicates. But now with series, you can make that change. You can have uh, an event that happens every Friday at a different venue, and it will still all be contained within a series. You can present that series to your customers. Uh, they can view it all together, and you have all the flexibility in the world uh, to, to make changes. Wow. That is really, really cool. And that is really exciting, especially if it's 10 years um, <laughs> 10 years in the making. It kind of is, yeah. Yeah. And one of the things you keep saying is faster, faster. So this uh, faster is a good word for anyone with a website. So I know people are going to be excited. Um, so are those all the features? Or I think there's a couple more features that uh, are. people can ex expect. Yeah. So um, another thing for pro users that folks are going to be excited about is that we have now built in a duplicate event tool. So you nice. can go. Uh, yeah, so in the admin or when you're editing a specific event, there's just an easy one-click duplicate option. It'll duplicate your event. Then you can, you know, go and edit that that copy or not, uh, whatever you want. But it's a really quick and easy way uh, for you to populate your calendar. And I know that's something a lot of customers have been asking for as well. It is, yes, for sure. Well, so this release is going to make a lot of people happy. And it's yes. already making us happy. We've been uh, testing it out. We've got a lot of beta users. And by the way, if you're not already part of the beta program, go ahead and visit our website and um, we'll put the link in the description so that you can sign up and uh, test and, and get the beta. If by the time you're viewing this, the product <laughs> has not already been released. Yeah. So, 
So I think without further ado, Leah, you can go ahead and give us a brief tour of what, especially what the series looks like. I think that's the main part that people might want to see. Everything else, uh, we'll probably give more detail in another recording. But if you can show us the series feature, that'll be great. Yeah, absolutely. So right here, um, you can see this is our, our series demo site. Uh, and I have, I've got a number of series here. I mean, you can see that this, you know, looks like the calendar that, that we're familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, but there are events with this nifty new little icon. This is the series icon. Um, so that means the event is in a series. And the first example I'm going to show you uh, is this kids camp. So mm -hmm. these I've got, uh, it's a five day camp. Um, and you can see them here in month view. And what's cool is each one of these has a different featured image. Each mm -hmm. one of these has a slightly different title. This is the series landing page. I have put in a custom description and image into the landing page. That's something that you'll be able to do for every series. And then right here, I've got basically a filtered list just showing the events in the series. And again, you can see how each one of these has um, unique content. Uh, there's a unique description, unique titles, the featured image. Um, another thing is uh, on Friday, the camp ends two hours earlier. It's another thing you can do. You can adjust the time. Um, so essentially, this is a series that is made up of single events that are all unique. But because they have all been added to one series called Kids Camp, we can present them uh, to the customer, you know, to prospective attendees, all all together like this. Um, wow. So that's, this is really yeah. cool, isn't it? Cool. I'm already thinking um, of different ways to use this myself. Yes, yes, there are definitely many, many use cases. Um, I think this is going to be extremely useful for a lot of our folks. Um, I want to show you this, this other series. This is a farmer's market. And this is uh, one series that contains two different recurring events. The first one is the regular farmer's market, which happens every other week on Thursday. But then also once a month, I think it's on the third Thursday, there's a, a night market, which is slightly different. And again, uh, I got a different description here, a different featured image. So these are two different recurring events, but because they make sense to associate together into one series, we can do that. They're just both added, added to the same series. And it also allows you to do really cool stuff like I come down to November. And so every other Thursday, it, it would be that the farmer's market is on Thanksgiving, but everybody's busy, you know, on Thanksgiving. So there's no market. That's okay. Uh, I've added a single event here, different title, different description, and this makes sure that you know nobody shows up looking looking for that. Uh, another sort of one-off event here is the night market for November. It happens on Black Friday, so it's made into a featured event, different description. It goes one hour later. So these are the kinds of uh, sort of unique combinations of events that you can make with series. And really, almost any, like any single event, any recurring event, any combination of those can be added into one series. You can make new series, uh, you can move events around, whatever you need to do to present events in a way that's going to make sense for your customers. I noticed the very second event right here, if you scroll down to the second one, the night market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even the hours are different too. So, yeah, okay. so the concept is like you're no longer tied down to having a recurring event that does the exact same thing. It can just exactly. be anything you want. So exactly. I, I think this is really going to open up a lot of uses for people. That is exactly the hope. Yeah. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah. And while you were doing this demo, um, I started thinking about we've got a lot of, for example, colleges and universities that use, mm -hmm. that use our product. Um, I was actually looking at one the other day, the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, they've got a whole bunch of departments and they all have different iterations of the events calendar. 
Um, so essentially, if they want, they can build series for each department. Is that correct? Something like yeah. that? Mm -hmm. they, they certainly could. I mean, really, uh, the number of um, applications for this, it's, it's practically limitless. I think different people will use it in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think of, uh, for example, classes where maybe it happens regularly, but you want to be able to put um, you know, what you're going to learn on each each day, or maybe it's like a drop-in thing. Uh, maybe I, you know, we have a number of uh, like music venues and nightclubs that use our mm -hmm. calendar. Maybe every Friday night is like jazz night, but there's a different artist. So maybe jazz night is a series, and then the individual events tell you which artist is is featured. Um, I I could go on and on. <laughs> there's so many so many different ways you can use this. Well, this is so exciting and i'm sure people are going to be eagerly waiting to uh, update to 6.0 when it comes out um, one thing we do want to give a heads up about to our existing users is the issue of migration so um, yes. can you talk about that as we wrap up here yeah so as i mentioned at the beginning um the one aspect of this update is a major major change to the foundation of of the events, the actual data um, that that creates and, and maintains all of the events. And because we've radically changed how that works, if you have a site that has existing events and you update to 6.0, we need to migrate your events from the previous data storage system, which we've been using for years, to this new one that is coming, that it is coming in 6.0. Mm -hmm. So the process is that you update the plugins, the events calendar, and any of our other premium add-ons, so events calendar pro, maybe you have built for our community, update uh, to the newest version, and you will be prompted to migrate events. You can find the migration tool under uh, event settings on the upgrades tab. Um, there will also be an admin prompt uh, to help you find it. And then you go through a migration process. There's a couple steps. We'll be able to provide a time estimate based on how many events you have and how your site is set up. Um, and then you'll, you'll go through that, uh, that process. Once your database is updated to the new storage system, then you will have access to the new features. And that means the performance or for pro users, the duplicate events tool series. Uh, so, What's crucial to understand here is that you update the plugin, but there's another step before you actually get all the cool benefits. We have to take you through that step because those new features require the new storage system. Awesome. So in other words, don't forget to migrate after you after after you update. Yep. Well, cool. I think uh, we've done a good job of giving people a sneak peek and all that's left is for people to, well, you, people can actually uh, download the beta. We're gonna put links in the yep. description for that. And um, just uh, keep um, keep your eyes out, keep your ears out, uh, keep subscribed to uh, here on our channel and on our newsletters to stay updated and to know when uh, events calendar 6.0 is available. So yes. um, with, that, with that, I think that's all we have for you today. Thank you for joining us and thank you, Leah. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's my always pleasure. A pleasure. Yes, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> We're gonna have you more and more on this channel. So we look forward to that. Wonderful. Oh. And all right. thank you everyone for your patience while we worked on this. Um, I really, the team and I were just very, very excited to be getting this into customers' hands. We're definitely excited. We can't wait to get feedback. So we look forward to that. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again on another episode. Oh, Thank by the you. way, I wanted to mention when you were talking about migration, James is putting together a video that's going to take people uh, through that as well as just a tutorial on series as well. So stay tuned for that. It will be coming soon. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone.